Good morning and welcome to the channel. We are uh, making some trim today. We're going to be using clear cut pine, which is this. Clear cut. Clear pine in general, which means just has less knots, less imperfections, looks pretty good and clean. We're going to put a chamfer on the edge using the router here. And we might do one or two more details depending on how the chamfer turns out and looks. This is it here. So the plan with this is to put that chamfer on the front edge and maybe put a line down the middle depending, uh, just a saw blade line or something to give it a little bit of depth. And we'll be whitewashing it, so it's clear cut pine, we'll whitewash it just so as you walk in you won't be overwhelmed with the sight of wood everywhere for the trim. You could probably get away with it in here because it is a pretty clean building as it is, the colors and everything in the space is pretty open feeling and quite light. So probably get away with not whitewashing it but we'll probably do a few coats at least just to uh, have it not catch your eye as easily um, but still provide some of that grain and texture coming through the wood so that will be the plan 25 degree angle Pretty simple process. I got a test piece here. It's a little thicker than the pieces we're using. I think it's three quarter opposed to five eighths, which is what our uh, baseboard and everything will be. But I just kind of want to see what's going to be easier for me to uh, achieve here. Okay, let's not break the lens. Okay, I like that, might be a little hard to see. So I did a couple different options. I think this is gonna be the best option. I'm gonna try a little bit of a longer length. I like something like this. I'm gonna adjust it so it takes off a little bit more, but I think that's what we'll go for. Try that out. I think I like that. You can kind of see it. So we can go ahead and start on our actual pieces. Made a bit of a dumb mistake. I forgot to tighten the router bit fully. <laughs> Good thing I caught that sooner than later. Oh boy. Let's try that again. Just wondering why my depth was changing. Rookie mistake. That's great. Look at the how the light catches that. Okay, that's what we're gonna go for. I need to make a couple adjustments just because it's a little awkward to hold that while I'm trying to go down. Um, I'm gonna screw on some blocks to help pinch it together just so it's safer because as you can see, it was a little awkward for me to make a full pass. And if you stop halfway through, you just end up getting a bit of a chatter mark, but it bites in a little deeper there. So to avoid that, it's nice to have one continuous run. Blocks, I need blocks. Show me the blocks. There's a block. I need more, more blocks. Found some blocks. Sure. As I'm going through, I'm double checking for any imperfections like this. 
just to see if I can hide it by flipping it around, which I'm able to. Henceforth and furthermore. You know, I didn't build that table. But it looks like I might have to now. Could have been worse, that's for sure. <laughs> Usually it can be worse when you think about it. So sometimes it's worth the thought. One second, I have an idea. My idea backfired. It's okay. More than one way to skin a cat. As my grandpa will always say. It's pretty gross to think about. But it's probably true. Look, I built it again. Sick. You know what was missing? There was no diagonal brace to it. <laughs> that, that's so much better. <laughs> Oh no. Ugh. Okay, the new game plan is just to get through this pile. I have to shut her down in an hour anyways. The leaves are even prettier as the sun sets. Readjust the camera, give you a bit more of a perspective. Let me give you a new perspective. Sure. Not sure. I want to put you over here. Okay, I got all the trim, or sorry, I should say I got all the casing done. I have to do the baseboard still, but I ran out of time and have to pack it up for the day, so that will be another time. And probably in the same video, I'll begin whitewashing. If not, then I might begin installing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.